Hell is empty and all the deviled eggs are here. This devilishly delicious treat with its unlimited array of flavorful variants makes it the perfect appetizer for any special occasion. Tonight, this special occasion is an epic battle of the cosmos. An epic space opera heads into war with a mouth-watering egg from one of its fast-moving reptilian creatures to take on its longtime sci-fi rival with its delicious egg hailing from one of its most intense and harshest regions. Star Wars Deviled Bicobi Eggs versus Star Trek's Deviled Brigova Eggs. It all starts now on The Clash of the Cookbooks. Star Wars deviled Picobi eggs are laid by these tiny lizard-like creatures called Picobi. These carnivores are known to be fast and intelligent and hail from their homeworld of Naboo. Chef Strono Tugs, who wrote the Star Wars cookbook, mentioned that Picobi tastes pretty gamey, but he says their eggs are mouthwateringly delicious and can be served in a variety of ways, including deviled, which is what we'll be doing now. To start, place 8 eggs in water and heat these up over medium-high heat until the water boils. Once boiling, remove from the heat and let it sit for 10 minutes. After that, cool the eggs down under cold running water, then peel them and cut them in half lengthwise. Scoop out the yolks into a bowl and set aside the whites. Next, we need to make the key ingredient for our deviled picobi eggs, which is the emmel sauce. To make the sauce, mix together 2 room temperature egg yolks with half a teaspoon of kosher salt, two tablespoons of very cold water, and a teaspoon of rice vinegar. Use an immersion blender to mix it up and slowly add in one and a half cups of olive oil. Everything should thicken and turn pale. Unfortunately, I think I overmixed mine, so it ended up pretty thin and soupy. To make things worse, while I was Googling how to fix the sauce, this happens. So I remade a fresh batch and this time around I just mixed it until thick and stopped before I destroyed it again. The last step is to add 1 to 2 tablespoons of white miso paste depending on your taste and blend that into the sauce and you now have a smooth savory spread that you can use as a dip, dressing or sandwich topping. But in this case, we'll be using it in our deviled egg filling. So add about one third cup of that emmel sauce, another tablespoon of white miso paste, half a teaspoon of toasted sesame oil, and mash them all together until smooth. Place everything in a pastry bag and squeeze the filling into each egg. Then just add a few drops of sriracha on top and sprinkle on some black sesame seeds for garnish. You can also garnish with red salt, but I couldn't find any, so I'm using some pink salt that I already have in my pantry, although it's quite hard to see. I'm just gonna imagine the red. That's it, super simple, deviled Picobi eggs. Star Trek's deviled Rigova eggs are from the avian species of Rigova. These birds are common in the planet Cardassia Prime. After catastrophic climate change due to environmental destruction, the conditions are pretty terrible for the animals of Cardassia, but despite this, the Rigova have managed to thrive. Their eggs are highly regarded by the Cardassians due to their colorful appearance and flavorful rich yolks, and what better way to showcase both than showing them in devilish fashion. We start off by boiling some water in a pot and lowering in 12 large eggs. Cook these for 14 minutes, then transfer the eggs into an ice bath and let them cool for 15 minutes. Once cooled, gently crack the eggs to make web-like cracks all over the surface, then place them in a container, cover them with water, and add in green and yellow food coloring. I'm kind of questioning whether this is a typo and if the cookbook means blue and yellow coloring instead because the cookbook photo looks more blue instead of green, but who knows, maybe it'll turn more blue in the process? The cookbook says to add enough food coloring until the water turns dark. This is dark enough, right? Let these eggs sit in here for four to six hours. After the eggs are done marinating, peel the shells and you should see some cool looking patterns on the white. Definitely looks a lot greener compared to the book. I think I should have used blue instead, but still looks cool though. Cut off the top quarter of the eggs and scoop out the yolks. It was kind of hard to do this without breaking the egg white, so I ended up cutting the top third instead so I can have a bigger hole to dig from. Collect the egg yolks, and the cookbook says to put the rest of the egg whites back in the food colored water for another hour while making the filling. In a food processor, place in the yolks, three tablespoons of yogurt, a half cup of roasted red peppers, one clove of minced garlic, a teaspoon of lemon juice, and salt and pepper to taste. Blend this all together into a paste and we'll be filling a piping bag with this. 
back to the egg whites or should i say egg greens uh what happened to the cool pattern it's all just green now i think spending another hour in the bath was way too long the green eggs still look cool but i wish that pattern was still visible still looks pretty alieny though which is pretty awesome anyways let's fill these up with egg mixture all the way to the top garnish with some greens i'll be using some parsley tips and then sprinkle on some red pepper flakes for some color deviled rugova eggs for your eating pleasure judgment round dishes are judged in three criteria theme presentation and taste scorecards use a 10 point scoring system 10 10 for ties 10 nines for wins 10 eights for dominant wins this is all based on my personal taste so this is just for fun. I really like how both cookbooks provided context on the source of these eggs and the alien worlds that inhabit them. For the deviled Pekobi eggs, the Star Wars cookbook focused less on the habitat of the Pekobi and more so on the taste and its culinary usage. I had to look up what these were to find out a bit more information like their behavior and place of origin, which I think would have been interesting factoids to include in the book. The Star Trek cookbook was more descriptive of the Rogova eggs, providing more information about the home world while still expanding on the culinary merits of the eggs among that alien culture. It's also a lot more descriptive in terms of how the eggs are used and revered by the Cardassians. No, not Cardassians. We talking about Cardassians. These folks love their deviled Rogova eggs. I don't really care for Cardassian cuisine. The Star Wars Pekobi eggs have that classic deviled egg look that we come to expect from deviled eggs. I like the pop of red contrast from the dots of sriracha. I'm glad it only asked for a few drops because with this sriracha shortage going on, I'm trying to get my half bottle to last as long as possible. I'm missing the red salt, which I think would have made it look cooler, but it's a pretty minor omission. The Star Trek Rogova eggs just look fun and very alieny. I mean, it looks like something out of this world, which really fits the theme. Not gonna lie, I do like the bluish hue of the eggs in the cookbook's photo more, especially with those web-like veins, but these green ones look pretty funky also. I like the green garnish on top with the pepper flakes. It's fun and fancy at the same time. Let's try these Pekobi eggs, shall we? This has a very, very interesting flavor unlike any deviled eggs I've had before. The trio of miso, sriracha, and sesame oil kind of reminds me of the experience of eating ramen, like a bite-sized egg version of spicy ramen. It's pretty trippy and I like the umami bomb on every bite. The emerald sauce gives it a nice creamy consistency and just feels really smooth good stuff. The Rogova eggs on the other hand is a completely different experience because you don't cut the egg in half you either have to just bite a part of it or just shove the whole thing in. Personally I think the half egg way is a lot more convenient and provides a better filling to egg white ratio. This one also tastes a lot more eggy. You can more so feel that granular texture of the egg yolk and it isn't as smooth even though it's been blended. The red pepper is a pretty mild addition, and I think more garlic would have been better. I can't really tell what one clove of garlic did. Not bad, but in terms of taste, I do have a clear winner. And now we go to the scorecards for a decision. Theme score is 10-9, Regova. Presentation score is 10-9, Regova. Taste score is 10-9, Pacobi, and with a score of 29-28, and the winner by split decision, Devil Regova Eggs!